Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look how to convert a VMDK a virtual storage to a VDI. For that, I have here down a client 11, which is currently a Windows 8.1 machine. I'm Christian from Vision 6D. So in order to do that, we are going to use a command, which is the Swiss knife of VirtualBox, which is the VirtualBox manage. We are going to use that command. But before to do this, uh, before we can launch the command to do the conversion, I will need first to remove from my current machine its storage. I remove here the attachment. But before to do that, I will do one thing that will be of a help to us. It's to copy here the path to this file. So I copy it here. This is fine. And uh, I save it aside for later on. That point, it's fine. So now I can go and remove the attachment. I moved here in the window in Program Files, Oracle, VirtualBox. It's where I will find the command. So now from there on, I will key in the, the command I will need. VirtualBox manage and then clone HD and I have to define the format which is VDI and then I have to give the path to the file I want to convert so you see it's here I shouldn't forget to put brackets since there are pay spaces in the in the name so VirtualBox Manage Clone HD Format VDI from the VMDK image to the image I want as VDI. It will be the same name, just ending with VDI. And now the conversion is operating. The conversion has taken about 15 minutes and now it's done. So the next step is now to locate the file and uh, to attach it to the virtual machine. We see in red the new file system, which is the VDI1, which is here, and the older one, which is still VMDK. So I'm going to mount now the VDI1. To add the disk, I go into the settings of the virtual machine. I select storage and you see nothing is defined for the moment. So here right click i can decide to add a hard disk and i will choose from an existing one and then i have to go to the location where the disk is defined it's client 11 and we find here our two versions which i will now open and now we are left with starting the machine Now the machine is up and we can log in just to make sure that everything worked fine. So far so good. My machine is here, it's up and I will soon be able to work with it. So that was it, the way to convert a VMDK file to a VDI file. You see that it's really simple. So all what I'm left with is to wish you a good day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, you can sum up, you can subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you soon. Bye!